Hi, in this video we'll talk about how to use car to truck. Car to truck has uh, two main objectives. One is uh, to find points in 3D space based on, uh, on the screen space, similar to what points to 3D does in Nuke. And second one is to extract the 3D position and transfer it to 2D to screen space, similar to what Reconcile 3D does. Let's dive in. This is our group. When you will bring car to truck, it will look exactly like that. There are two, two inputs that you must connect. First is camera, second one is the background. First you have uh, here option, uh, what actually you have. And uh, by default you will have great match move. And let's assume you have nothing else for now. As a first step, we'll find to find position of this plane in 3D space. Put my picker here. Okay, let's be a little bit precise, like that. And then you will press set. Uh, let's look through car to truck. You will see that grid will jump there. We found our X and we'll we found our Y. But if I will go through time, I see that actually we're starting to slide. And that's why we need to find our Z. So I'm just going uh, minus, I don't know, 21, minus 20. It can be also plus values depending to which direction you're going. But as you can see, we're already closer. We're still sliding, but uh, it's starting to get better. Okay, now, one thing that you can help yourself is to press stabilize. So right now, basically, we are stabilized and we can see that, okay, we're still sliding. So we can adjust a little bit more till we'll be really in proper place. Another thing is to press, you can press high pass and then you will get actually high pass representation of stabilization and you can see that you can be really if not pixel accurate but very accurate now be aware that cart is not rotated in the same angle as the wall and that's why you have wrong uh, values left and right but exactly where the picker is it looks better so i think we're pretty happy with the result and we'll press happy button what it will do it will reset our stabilization and it will position our object in the proper 3d space now we can see that we actually tracked. Great. So now we want to adjust our card. Uh, well, 90 degrees will do the job. So we're ready to produce our uh, corner pin. Go. Now, uh, what do we have here? Give a proper name, screen left wall. So what we did, we saved this information here. We saved our card position in 3D space. Right now it's not created yet, but we have this information. And also we have our corner pin as an information stored here. Before we will uh, create our nodes and talk about how to use them, let's go back please to our uh, card track options and talk about different ways to extract our uh, information from card track. So um, if uh, you have LiDAR scan or you have 3D geometry of the scene, uh, you can provide this geometry as a guide to car to truck as an extra input. So let's just do it here, extra input. I don't have uh, just great match move. I actually have a geometry. Okay, and now uh, we can see the wireframe representation of the geometry and we can just pick any area. In this case, let's say on the right wall, and then we can, uh, we can say set. And it's immediately will find X, Y, and Z position. And as you can see, it sticks already very well. And go. And it will be our uh, screen right, screen right, wall. Okay, next option. Let's say we have uh, some object. And in this case, it will be a render. I'll, I'll just merge it here. So let's see what we have here. So let's see this amazing shot. So we have some guys flying in our scene, okay? And now um, it can be rendered object or it can be a car which is driving in plate and which was match moved by match move department. And uh, when they're doing that, they probably will provide you an axis. In this case, I do have an axis of barrel and axis of box. So we have a barrel, control C, Control V, let's connect our barrel. So with the barrel, it's also somewhere in the middle because the center of animation was in the middle, but we actually want to put it here to put some object there. Okay, so let's go create another axis for us. Connect it here. Uh, well, we need to rotate it 90 degrees. Another 90 degrees. Let's go back here and uh, let me pull it just to the center. I think 
it will do the job. Going back to car to truck, car to truck, and go. Borrow. Let's see what else we can do. So except of 3D locator and geometry, we also can use world position pass or deep. It will be just the building on the background. So let's go back to our car to truck. We have, in this case, world position pass. And uh, again, we're going back to the set reference frame. I will set it this time here, set. And as you can see, again, it's already located proper position and we can extract that. Uh, since kind render outputs deep as well, well, we can say, well, we have deep. We can put our picker in area where we want to put, press set. And again, we are ready in the proper position whenever we're supposed to be. Now let's see how can we use our nodes in our node graph. So let's start from the side left wall, which is kind of like this uh, on, on the left side. Uh, we can just extract 3D object, let's say card. And this is really a basic straightforward uh, compositing. So we have our uh, camera, we have our object, we can add some um, poster, let's say. So I have it here and uh, I will duplicate our background. We can see the guys sitting exactly where it's supposed to sit. You can adjust your car card and you will be fine. Okay, so this is the, the, the most rare case how I'm going to use that because most likely we'll just take and say, well, just give me corner pin. And now we can just do the same with the corner pin and our background, match them together. And let's have a look. Well, we are tracked. So what's happening, we actually projecting this poster frame on the plane of the wall. But with the poster frame, it's actually not what we want to do. We want actually to put it there as texture. And that's why we have set to input button. And when you press set to input right now, actually it is positioned on the plane, except that uh, it is squeezed. And it is squeezed because the output of car to track by default will be square. Okay. And in order to unsqueeze it and bring a proper uh, input aspect, you need to check preserve input aspect. What is happening very, very frequently, we want to adjust something with our, um, with our background and then track it. So let's freeze our input. We can freeze our input here. We have a button, freeze input. And uh, we can also add frame hold. Uh, I'm adding frame hold just to make it visual uh, on frame 45. Okay, and now if I will have a look, well, we're tracking our wall and exactly as uh, it would do if you will use normal card. You can uh, mask it. For example, you can say, well, that will be the size of my patch in. I don't have um, alpha, let's give it alpha. And that's it, and now you have patch on your wall. Okay, you have to grade it, blah, 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 because of the vignette effect and so on and so on. But this is a basic way of using this uh, CP uh, project uh, uh, as a, as a um, project. And But this is the basic way to use a C project and um, as a projector, which we're doing here, or as a, a basic card when we setting um, setting projection to the size of the input. Next thing what you can do is uh, um, stabilize. Instead of match move, I will say please stabilize and please set to input. Okay, so right now, if we will see, I'm going back and forth and I see that I am stabilized. Uh, one thing that you need to remember that if you stabilizing, you want to click on preserve output image aspect. And if I will click that right now, it is actually proper, looks uh, properly. Now I will move this window to the right side. Uh, right now it will be kind of impossible to see what I'm doing. That's why let's basically unstabilize it back just to see that our tracking is going absolutely correctly. So I stabilized here and now I duplicate my group and I will say, well, now please match move. And please, instead of preserve output image aspect, preserve input aspect. 
we stabilized and we did match move. The great thing is that we have concatenation between these two guys. Now, in order to preserve my uh, concatenation, I'm not going to mask it here. I'm going to mask it after I finished all my transformations. And I will mask it with the mask from car to truck because I have it. Tracked mask, roto. Okay, side left ro wall, roto. Yes, let's create roto. Let's bring it here. Merge in. And uh, let's say I want that my. Uh, let's move all of these windows. So we'll have additional row of the windows, okay? Here. Let's see the final result, okay? Instead of over, I will say mask. And I will start to move my stabilized input here to the right side. Okay, let's see how does it look like here and the final result. Well, and I think you could expect already to see what you see. We moved our windows to the left and they are li running live. We have live footage, which is stabilized, which is transformed in UV space, we can call it. And then it's match moved again and it's cut by tracked mask. We're running forward, everything is uh, working as expected including uh, mild color correction issues on the edges because we have a vignette on this shot now let's talk about uh, one additional thing that we have in car to track uh, in the car to track 9 is ability to change the camera we have a shot which looks like that and we have another shot which was let's say shot in the same location and looks like that and we did prepare one comp uh, for a shot which was a shot A. Let's call it shot A. Okay, and as you can see, there is some work done. There are two things that can happen. We're getting a completely new shot, and director changed his mind. He's like, well, you know what? I like this one, but I like different camera move. And you already did some work on your shot. You already used a lot of masks, projections, and you're like, ah, dude, I will have to redo everything because that's not cards. That's corner pins and uh, rotos and so on and so on. But right now you actually can just replace it. Uh, so we're replacing our shot to shot B. We're replacing our camera to camera B in car to track. And then in car to track now you have an option to recalculate your camera. Let's do it. So first we're recalculating the camera and all these tabs now updated to new camera. But nothing happened to node graph yet. Then we'll select associated nodes. And here you have an option just to say, well, you know what? I don't want to have this node updated. And then you're deselecting that. But I will keep it there. And run update selected nodes. Boom. And right now we have the new shot with everything working exactly as it's supposed to work. Actually, when I was making the tutorial, I noticed that.